Hey guys, how's it going? It's AP Derek. Welcome to the channel. Today's game is an indie game that's a bit different. It's it's an emotional journey, literally a journey. It's like a road trip driving simulating game that has a pretty personal narrative behind it, a real coming of age story. This is Road to Wang Dong. Pardon my language. I don't know if I pronounced that right. This is on Xbox. This is the Xbox game that I reviewed. I believe it's on Switch. But correct me if I'm wrong, it's not out in North America. I think this is a Europe and Asian release. It's also getting a physical release through a Play Asia production line. And I believe it's on PS4 as well through Play Asia. Don't quote me on that, but this is a coming to, um, coming to age story. This is about a character whose life is at a crossroads right now. She just received news that uh, her grandfather has given her the family's beloved restaurant in her name in the will. So you you inherit a restaurant, which is okay, that sounds interesting, right? Well, there's a journey that is required in this game. So you go with your aunt, who's also Asian, who uh, grew up working at the restaurant, and you have to travel from point A to point B to each of your long lost family members. All these members have memories of growing up with that restaurant family recipes, um, personal trials and tribulations that they had to go through. There's actually a lot of emotion with some of these characters. You'll find them struggling through depression and certain other things that really mess with the psychology. Uh, I don't want to get into um, spoilers with some of the characters, but there is some, uh, some drama in here that is very saddening, some that is real Phil Goal. Uh, you know, you'll feel a little bit of different types of emotions and, and stuff in the story. So it's a really big narrative based game. Uh, but the core gameplay mechanic is kind of what perked my interest. It might seem a little bit boring to other people. It's a driving mechanic. Now, you're literally going to sit behind the wheel of another family heirloom, a car that's been in the family for decades that has a reputation in itself in town. Like people are like, oh, I used to go to the restaurant as a kid and I remember seeing this car in town as a kid. And it's like your family has a pretty good little history, but you're still trying to find yourself. Your character, her name is Sunny. She's still trying to figure out who she is as a person and stuff like that. So it's kind of a, an artsy fartsy game when it comes to uh, your character's development and interactions with the family and with people in the uh in the towns that you visit and stuff like that so you drive you chart out your journey there's several different spots on the map and you pick which family member you go to and when you meet the family member you do dialogue trees that help figure out what's going on what kind of stories behind that person's journey in life and how they connect to you and everything so it's a lot of uh a lot of reading but it's actually a pretty good well-written story uh, now, the driving sim is actually pretty in-depth and impressive. The car is not in the best shape. The car is actually pretty ragged, um, pretty run down, and its parts constantly need attention. A lot, of, a lot of TLC, the tires, the engine, the oil, the gas. you got to keep tabs on how your car is running. So initially, the game has you take it to a mechanic. You pay a certain amount of money for repairs and for oil and stuff, and it's up to you on your journey to be wise as far as money management because if you run out of money you can't repair your car you can't buy gas you can't buy parts you can't finish your journey so the game is over also uh deciding what repairs are more important what priority is important for you to be able to go from point a to point b it's kind of it's actually really interesting and uh there's a lot of money management time management a lot of it's almost like a survival game in fact trying to make sure that your car makes it to each spot and and i found it kind of addictive a little bit uh i never played anything like it i know there was that um bus driver game on the sega genesis back in the day but that wasn't anything like this you get out of the car you can go to a scrap yard pick up old junk parts and use those to repair your car um sometimes somebody will give you oil you'll come across a gift and it's it's really interesting actually and it has a kind of cell shaded cartoony vibe to it that just feels right it has like a real asian culture vibe to the music um the presentation and everything like that and it just feels warm it's like a a a pretty neat little journey um again the arthur um was named yen oi and i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing her name wrong again it is a coming of age tale 
That is, uh, it, I believe this actually takes place in the 90s, actually, in China. So that, I guess the colors and everything with the art explains a lot of that. Um, and it is a pretty interactive story that uh, some of the decisions that you make factor in the dialogue trees and stuff like that. I was really impressed, actually, with, with how it felt. It was really well written. Um, and just looking at it, uh, I mean, the game, it, it's... I know the fact that it's a driving simulator might turn some people off, turn away from it. People are like, oh, if I wanted to do a road trip, I would do it in real life. And yeah, that's fair. But there was just something about this game that captivated me. And I think that's why I like some indie games that, that are narrative based like this. And and the whole idea on top of that, it's kind of like you're trying to keep your family history alive with the relationships and bonds with them. And getting to know them and the history so that the the family tradition of the diner can go on but then there's also this history and past with the car it's almost symbolic and metaphoric and I like stuff like this because I, I was a literary major in college and stuff like this so anytime I can see symbolism and metaphors and compare it to like psychology in any kind of way in a literary sense I, I become a sucker for it so I liked that much of the game now the gameplay itself is not that exciting it's literally driving from point A to point B for like 10 minutes or so, pulling over, repairing your car, getting gas, driving more, making it to your destination, doing a dialogue tree, and going to the next spot. So, it might not be the most exciting game for people out there, but for me, I, I thought it was interesting enough. I played it on the Xbox again. For some reason, I don't think this is in North America on the Nintendo Switch. So if you're going to get it on Switch, you might have to import it or get it physically from Play Asia. This is not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but for me, I feel that if you like artsy, fartsy, uh, narrative-based emotional journeys and stuff that you can play through one time, I think, you know, honestly, this is a game that you play through once and that's about it. It might be worth your while. Um, again, who knows? I think it's about um, 18 pounds or so in Europe. I don't know how that translates in Asia or whatever but it's uh it's it's kind of a pricey game for what it is I guess I don't know how much that would be in American I don't know the conversion but I did like the premise of the story enough to where I was entertained and I thought I would share it with you guys this this didn't play like anything else that I've played right now so I liked it what do you guys think comment down below let me know your thoughts subscribe if you're brand new and uh, I'll see you on the next one have a great day guys Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again guys for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing and don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again guys. Peace out.